Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I just want to make a really quick follow-up video on the Lee Sky 2000 watt uh, 12 volt inverter that I reviewed um, a couple videos ago. Um, some people asked me uh, some questions about it in the comments and I really wanted to uh, address those. So the first one I wanted to show is the internals. I went ahead and started taking apart the inverter and I realized that the screen uh, is attached right down here. Let's go ahead and get a light on here so we can see it better. There we go, that's better. All right, you can see that the screen is actually attached right, right here. And I've been trying to pry it off so I can move this thing completely out of the way, but it is just not going to budge and I don't want to break it. So I'm just going to have to show you a little bit of this side and then as much as I can when I slide the whole thing over. But here is the AC side right here. There is the GFCI outlet. Uh, here is the, the cabling and the card for the USB, uh, USB chargers. Uh, and honestly, I don't know much about inverters, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try to give you a good, as much view as I can from it. So there's that side. And then let me go ahead and just slide this whole thing over. And that's about as far as I can get on that side. So let's go ahead and look at this side. And here are the terminal connections. Um, I'm not really sure what these are. I think they're like interference for interference. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Please leave it in the comments if anyone knows what this thing is. Because I noticed that there's one on the AC side as well. Uh, but it looks like we have uh, two, two, four. There's four 10 gauge uh, wires for positive and four 10 gauge wires for the negative. Uh, and it looks like there's fuses down here. Uh, someone also asked if the fuses are fixed onto the board or if they're removable. And it definitely it looks like they are removable. And there are four 35 amp fuses right here. Oh, there's more fuses over here. So it looks like there are eight. It looks like there are eight 35 amp blade fuses in here. So again, I wish I could tell you a lot more about this, but I just, I just don't know a lot of the terminology for all this stuff. But, but there is uh, as much as I can give you for the inside components of this uh, inverter. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. And uh, someone else asked me if um, we could give like a, a pretty big load test on it and look at the sine wave to see if it's still clean. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. Okay, I've got the Lee Sky inverter all put back together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the... Uh, the pure sine wave under load to make sure that it stays clean. And I'm going to kind of push it uh, up to 2000 watts. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure how much I got here, but it's going to be, it's going to be close to the max of this inverter. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to actually push it to the point where it shuts off because of over current protection, but we'll see um, the battery because I've just got it plugged into this 12 volt, Sunfun kit battery and it can push up to 150 amps. So I mean we're we're right on the same level. You know, 150 amps I think is like what 1980 uh, watts. So I don't know which one we'll give out first, but we're gonna go and just push this thing and watch the wave and see what happens. So let's do it. I just wanted to show you that here's the inverter. What I have is here's my probes right here that are connected to my pure sine wave. Uh, oscilloscope so we can see a pure sine wave right now uh, and let's just turn on let's see because what I have I have it also this small extension cord going into this power bar and this power bar has this halogen lamp it has a heat gun and it has this vacuum cleaner down here so all of that 
I'm not really sure what it's going to equal, but it'll be close to probably at least 1700 watts. So let's go ahead, turn on the power bar so the light turns on. All right. And our wave is still beautiful. This does show that we are using 400 watts. And actually, let me connect a kilowatt meter to it so we can see it actually from the plug on the AC side. Okay, so let's start this test again. I do and I now have a kilowatt meter on here, so let's go ahead and switch it over to watts. And right now we're at zero. So let's turn on the halogen lamp first. Okay, that's on. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna make this hot, so we gotta, here, let's angle it that way, okay. And it looks like our kilowatt shows 420 watts. And this does say again, this does say again uh, 400. And our sine wave is still pretty happy. Let's go ahead and turn on, I'm gonna turn on the vacuum last because it's super loud. So let's put this heat gun on low. Okay. Let's see, our sine wave, our sine wave is still good. And we are now using 945 watts. See, but this says, this says 580 to 600. So this, this is wrong. Okay, well I just loaded up the Sun Fun Kits app and you can see that it's using 1122 watts coming from the battery. The voltage, this says 12.4 when this says 11.7. So I don't know where they're getting this 580 when on the AC right here, it's showing 945. So this number right here is not correct. And I'm not sure how they're calculating this. But anyway, let's continue because all we care about is the sine wave. So that's on, the heat gun's on. Let's go ahead and kick this heat gun up to high. All right, this now says 1480, the kilowatt says, the kilowatt says 14. Yep, discharge overcurrent, so overcurrent protection clicked on on the battery. So darn it, we were only able to get um, up to 14, 1500 watts before the battery shut off. But let's go ahead and just see it under a moderate size load, like a thousand watt load. So we're going to unplug this light and just use the heat gun. So let's put the heat gun on. Oh, let's turn the inverter on. All right. And this is showing 109 amps now. So that, it should be able to handle this just fine. So. And you can see on our sine wave, the sine wave is still, still beautiful. And we have, yeah, we have 1100 watts coming out of it. So this is running at about 15, or, or this is running at about 50%. Now it's crazy, this shows 1100 watts. And this shows 1116 watts. So, I mean, these are almost, they're almost the same. So why is it different when we use the halogen light as well? See, let's put this on low. Okay. So, let's see, look at that. That goes down to 100, but we're using 500. Isn't that weird? I find that super weird. Why, why would this display such a wrong wattage on a lower load 
on a heat gun, but on a high load, it shows it almost, almost identical. I mean, it's off by like 20 watts when it's up to like 1,000 or 1,100 watts. But, but yeah, if we, put it on, if we put the heat gun on high, yeah, if the heat gun's on high, it's almost, uh, it's, it's correct. But you put that heat gun on low, like it's on right now, and it's showing 100 watts when clearly we're using 526 watts and the battery is actually pulling 616 watts. So that's, that's super weird. Yeah, unfortunately we weren't able to, to push this all the way up to 2000 watts, but in this video I wasn't really concerned about that. I was more concerned about the uh, pure sine wave, which looks to be just fine under a good size load. We'll look at it one more time at 1100 watts. And it is going just fine. And then as soon as we turn off the heat gun, yeah, there's, there's no wavering at all. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I was able to answer your questions uh, that you all left in the comments. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.